We are the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network. And this is our news recap show. I am your host, Ricky Phillips. Now, I first want to start off by saying I know I haven't been uploading videos. I haven't really had much time to sit down and film special reports. Nonetheless, finalize the research for certain special reports that I've been planning now for months. Um, basically, that's just because there's a lot going on. I got a new job. I'm working more hours now at odd odd hours, um, sort of extra early in the morning. Um, and so I have less time and less energy to to devote to the Liberty Intelligence Organization network. But that doesn't mean that I'm still not working on trying to get the information out there. I talk to people in person a lot about this stuff. And at the same time, I'm continuously working and trying to piece together uh, more video clips and more audio sound bites for documentaries that I'm trying to put together. Uh, that I'm working on two of them right now. And in addition to that, I am planning the next series of special reports. Now, the special report I want to talk about today, I'm going to be talking about the governor of Maryland and how he is portraying himself as a minion of the globalists. Uh, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, I would encourage you strongly to check out the documentaries and the playlists on my channel. I would encourage you to look at my earlier videos to gain a better understanding of all of this so that you can understand you know, the terms like globalist, so you can keep up with the lingo here. Um, it, it's really not that hard to understand, but I do encourage people to always have a constant pursuit for more knowledge, because with that knowledge you empower yourself to a better life, to understanding the world in which you live and to understanding reality, despite the fact that our propaganda and our culture wants to put people in a delusional state where you live in this false reality while certain individuals utilize your delusional state to create their own real reality so that you have no idea what's going on behind your backs. Now the only reason I start off with that today is because I was able to talk to somebody today and I think it was the first time they ever really ran into somebody with this much knowledge about about these topics. They, they obviously had run into people in the past or read stuff in the past about certain aspects of this new world order system that the globalists are attempting to build. Um, and again, it was, it was a new co-worker because I got a new job. Uh, it's really a job with the same company. I just managed to get a full-time position at a different store for those of you who, who were interested. Um, I, I met another coworker, and I've actually met a few coworkers up there that, that, that understand what's going on, which only makes me realize more how fast people are waking up because of how fast the globalists are moving with their system right now. Um, it's waking a lot of people up, and uh, I personally think that's the globalist goal right now is they want to get people so upset and so you know at odds with one another that they can trigger a all-out global conflict, and they're working very hard to do that with what's going on in the Middle East right now. But I don't want to divert off topic too much. But I did want to explain why I went over that brief little intro there. It's because when I meet these people and I start talking to them, they, they really learn a lot, and I can tell they're learning a lot and grasping a lot with what I'm saying, but they have so many questions and so many unanswered things that I can't describe or explain in the brief instances I'm able to talk about, and even talking about it in public, especially at the workplace, puts you in danger of losing your job just depending on your boss's opinions related to these issues, if, if they overhear it or other co-workers. It, at this moment in time, it, it even puts you in a position to possibly be disappeared under the National Defense Authorization Act of 2012. And as I mentioned a long time ago, when I first started the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network, they, meaning the globalists, and their bureaucratic systems, um, namely the CIA, made it very clear to me that they know who I am, they know what I do, and at any moment, if they want, they can just disappear me. I will be gone. So they made it very clear to me right as I started my YouTube channel. And I'm a nobody, and that, and that shows you how how powerful the spy grid is and how much information they really have on every single individual. Um, so all that being said, I just want to point out to people that, that I can only do so much. Other people like me that explain and analyze this information can only do so much. It falls upon you as an individual, and that's really what this whole liberty fight is all about. We're trying to empower the individual, because if individuals are empowered with knowledge all over the world, 
then as a society, as a culture, as a planet, we can empower and rise to the stars, quite literally. Um, but, but all that being said, uh, today's special report uh, is really the last special report in the old series that I've had sitting around. Um, I already covered most of them. It, it, it was the Cypress Banks, the effects of gun control, uh, the New World Order Trump card. It was in that that grouping of special reports. As I do special reports, I gather links and then I, I put them into groupings, um, and then I, I write up a, a fact sheet that I can go off of. Um, so this this has been sitting around for a while. I haven't had the time to sit down and actually film it. And the reason I've been inspired to sit down and film is not only because I had this discussion with a, a coworker today and was was able to see the light of liberty being kindled within them as I was informing them of the world they live in, um, but but also because uh, I have a bunch of new special reports that I finally started you know gathering, and I actually have a new format for my researching that that I think gives me a lot more information. It is going to mean special reports in the future are going to be longer, and at the same time, um, coming in November, I will be starting uh, hopefully. Uh, a daily news broadcast where instead of going over specific special report aspects, I'll just be going over the daily news. Um, but but I wanted to do like a year of trying to inform people of what's going on so that new listeners and new people, because again, this was originally geared towards my friends and family. I want my friends and family to be able to see this so, so they're not just listening to some random guy that they don't know, they're listening to somebody they know tell them about this stuff in, in, in a coherent and informed manner. Um, so I wanted to catch everybody up on what's been going on before I start my daily news broadcast where I'm going to be going over news articles of that day and relating them and analyzing them to overall what's going on in the global global arena here. So all that being said, this brief introduction, um, you can go ahead and... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to get now to the main topic of the special report, which is the governor of Maryland, Martin O'Malley. Now, the title of this special report is The Globalist Governor of Maryland. And the reason I say that is because he's doing basically every single thing that the globalists want to do. Now, if you're not from Maryland, again, my last special report focused more on local stuff, dealing with my county. Um, this one's dealing with local stuff in my state. I want to talk to people in my state about all this craziness that's going on. And I am going to talk a little bit about my county in particular. Um, you know, how in my last video I talked about the Montgomery County Wedges and Corridors Plan and how it is nearly identical to UN Agenda 21, which is ultimately a global takeover plan publicly, openly there for you to read, for everybody to read right online where it talks about merging people into mega cities, opening up the, the, the environment outside so that only selected people can use it, all this types of stuff. Um, and, and it's basically... The Montgomery County Wedges and Corridors Plan is Agenda 21 on a local level, so that's the New World Order right there in your back door, in your backyard. There they are doing their thing. Um, of course, they use Orwellian names and try to hide their motives through these, these agendas and Wedges and Corridors Plan. You know, they, they don't tell you what they're really doing, but they use these Orwellian names. Now, I want to get into Martin O'Malley specifically because I think he's going to make a run in 2016 to become the Democratic nominee for President of the United States of America. He's hinted at it. Um, analysts are hinting at it. It's, and, and based off of his the things he's done in Maryland, it, it becomes plainly obvious that he is trying to impress the globalists. Now, really, if you want to become President of the United States, that's what you've got to do because you're really a puppet. You're not trying to gain the votes of the people. You're trying to impress the puppet masters that control the voting booth. And you want to know how that works? They're electronic voting booths. They can do whatever they want with them. Once you vote on that machine, they can do whatever they want. They can say whoever won, whoever won, whatever. There's no physical documentation or evidence to prove otherwise. So they can do whatever they want. From from that point on, you know, with the, with these things. So you don't have to impress the people. You don't have to gain the vote of the people. You gotta you gotta impress them enough to make them think you were popularly elected but you don't got to impress them enough to actually win the majority vote. Instead, what you have to do is not only impress the people or be able to control and manipulate and deceive the people very well, you have to impress the globalists, who are really the ones that pick the puppet kings, the puppet masters. 
um, of the people. You know, they, they are the puppet masters and they pick the puppet kings. Um, whether they be called presidents, whether they be called prime ministers, they're just puppet kings. Uh, and this has been used all throughout history. Uh, again, I'm a history major, so I know a lot about history. It was my main focus throughout all my years of college, and, and I actually enjoy learning and studying about what happened in the planet's past, what, what made human beings get to the point we're at today, and based off of that knowledge, where does it appear we're going in the future? Um, but in the past, uh, the Roman Catholic Church, which, which evolved out of the collapsing Roman Empire, used its ability to pick puppet kings in localized regions around Europe. They, they used their control over people's sins, really, mu pretty much, you know, whether or not you're going to be forgiven by, by God was determined by the Roman Catholic Church back then, in the Middle Ages and really the, the early Dark Ages and the late Middle Ages. Or the Middle Middle Ages. The Mid-Middle Ages. Um, so, you know, that's the system that was once used uh, where they pick puppet kings and they, the Roman Catholic Church would really control the puppet king of whatever region by declaring them Holy Roman Emperor in the case of, you know, Clovis and stuff like that. But basically, Martin O'Malley, the governor of Maryland, is doing everything he can to impress the elites, the globalists, so that they will decide to make him the next president of the United States, the next puppet king of the New World Order conquered former republic of the United States of America. Um, now I want to point out some of the evidence I have for this. What makes me say Martin O'Malley is trying to impress the globalists? Well, first off, he is a big gun grabber. He passed this new law in Maryland that's going to be devastating for gun owners and gun shops and everything. Um, ammunition limited, certain types of firearms are limited, uh, all these rules and regulations. Um, it, 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 ten round magazine is, I think, what you're limited to under the new Maryland gun law, which goes into effect October 1st. Um, so for those of you in Maryland who are interested in purchasing a gun at this moment in time, you 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 got two months to do it. So better make your decisions within the next two months, because once the new gun ban goes into effect, certain firearms and certain types of ammunition and certain magazine clips will no longer be accessible for you to purchase in the state of Maryland, and because of the rules, you probably won't be able to purchase them out of state and have them sent into state. Um, the only way to do it will be through what is known as a straw man purchase. Um, and I won't go into the details of that, but basically he's joined the gun grabbing crusade, so that signifies that he is working to impress the globalists, because that's what the globalists really want. That's their big goal, is to disarm the population so that there's no feasible way for us to fight back against their hit squads, their New World Order-controlled military forces, their paramilitary, homeland security-controlled bureaucracy. There's no way to fight back against it if you are not able to arm and defend yourself. So the gun-grabbing thing is a big indicator that he is trying to impress the globalists. Another thing is the rain tax. Yes, yes, this asinine rain tax is in Maryland. We have a tax on the rain. They tax you for the rain. Well, that ties directly into UN Agenda 21, which ties directly into the green deception that the globalists are trying to play right now, where they're trying to convince us that if we pay carbon taxes, if we pay rain taxes, if we pay flush taxes, yes, Maryland has a flush tax too. You pay a tax to flush your toilet. So you have a flush tax, we have a flush tax, and we have a rain tax. Or they tax us for the rain that falls out of the sky that we cannot control. And they tax us for flushing the toilet. Um, outrageous and asinine, yes, but it does fall in line with the globalist agenda, which is why it's being done. Now, again, there's been more recent stuff. Again, I've learned that in Maryland they also forced vaccines upon a bunch of school children at gunpoint. Literally, a bunch of... Uh, minority low-income people were gathered up, their children, at gunpoint with barking dogs and police in SWAT uniforms to give them a vaccine. Now, if you've been following us, I've done a bunch of health reports, and I'll be doing a future health report going into the dangers and the side effects of vaccines. If you don't know what they are, I encourage you to go to the CDC website, or encourage you to go check out my old video, which has a link to the CDC, and if you don't know what CDC, that's the, the, the Center for Disease Control. That's the government's own disease center that's run by the government, and they admit on their own website the dangers of vaccines and the side effects of vaccines. So again, I learned about that uh, after I'd written up the special report, so it's not in my, uh, my fact sheet here. 
And uh, there's something else, but it, it's uh, it's eluding me right now. Um, but it was again something I learned later that'll probably be in a future special report. Um, it's, and again, so I want to recap here. Martin O'Malley is trying to impress the globalist, and and you know I gave you the examples of gun grabbing stuff. He's openly announced a bid for president, and he ha we have a rain tax and a flush tax in addition to forced vaccination programs, and then what's being done in county level stuff. Uh, like Montgomery County, we have a bag tax. They tax you for every single bag you get. And it's so outrageous because if you go to Subway and get a sub, they charge you five cents for the sleeve, the sleeve that the sub slides into. They charge you five cents. That's because it's covered by the Montgomery County bag tax. Um, just outrageous. Just outrageous. Um, so I guess that about does it for what I want to cover. Again, a little bit of recap. Uh, in November, hopefully, I will be starting a daily news show. I will still be doing my special reports. I'm putting together the next series of special reports, which I will hopefully get finished and have the time to film in the near future. Um, and I won't be able to upload or film as many as I used to when I initially started just because I'm working more hours now. I got a new job. Uh, it involves more travel time. So I have less time and energy to, to focus on actually being able to, to, to study and research and film these special reports and work on the two documentaries I'm working on and start figuring out what I'm going to do for the daily news show that I'm putting together and a bunch of other stuff that I, I'm not. It's just, it's just tons of stuff up here and I wish I had uh, more of a, a platform to present this information through. Um, but unfortunately all I have is a cell phone camera, a computer, and a fact sheet. So I'm going to do the best job I can. Um, and I hope you'll you'll continue to stick with me uh, into the future and uh, maybe give me some new ideas. And also I want to end it by saying if you have any questions, because I want to do like a special report or every, you know, every now and then do reports where I answer people's questions because I really realize when talking to people that they do have a lot of questions about this. People you know, don't have the vast knowledge and understanding of this that 14 years of research gives you. Um, I do. For 14 years I've researched these topics in addition to just other topics that, that eventually tied in together with all this crazy globalist New World Order takeover stuff. Um, so I do have a vast amount of knowledge, so I just want to say if you have any questions for me at the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network, you're more than welcome to always shoot me an email or post it in the comments. That's really the best way to communicate with me is post a comment. Um, I don't always check my emails and stuff. Uh, in fact, I hardly ever do. Um, maybe once every two months I'll check my, my YouTube email. Um, but the best way is probably on the comments. Drop me a comment and I'll see it. It'll pop up in my, on my little ticker. And I'll be able to check it out and then, you know, post your questions, post your comments, whatever. Um, but if you specifically, if you do have any real questions, like a legitimate question for me, like, you know, what do you think of this? Or, or who are the globalists? Or, or you know, you know what, what does the NSA spy grid really mean? Or, or what are biometrics? Or what are drones? You know, even basic questions, you know, what is the NSA? anything. Just ask it and I will make a special report specifically to answer as many of the questions as I possibly can um, given the time. Now if I just get flooded with questions I'll, I'll, I'll do my best but just pop a question in the comments of, of any of the videos. Just If you have a question be like hey you know what about this and, and I'll try to, to focus on it and if I can't do a special report about it I will just give you a verbal or, or a comment response uh, on, on the YouTube. So all that being said, I want to thank everyone for tuning in, all those of you who tuned in to this special report about the governor of Maryland and his New World Order agenda, um, the globalist governor of Maryland, as I titled this special report. Um, I want to thank you for tuning in, and as always, as always, I want to remind people now more than ever to stay safe, to stay strong, to stay free, and to stay informed.